I know you wrote an article, and I'm curious. These are NFL potential NFL cut candidates that the Browns could target. Uh, we picked out a couple of them. So tight end, Ian Thomas uh, from the Panthers. Irv Smith, tight end from the Chiefs. Jeff Wilson, Jr., running back from the Dolphins. Kenny Clark, uh, defensive tackle, Packers. Then you got Sky Moore, Darius Slayton, and uh, Terrace Marshall from the Panthers, all wide receivers. Miles Sanders, running back from the uh, Panthers. When you look at those, who who in that thing intrigues you? And uh, you can go off the board. I know you had a couple others that, that you had in that article, too. Who intrigues you as somebody you think could fit and, and fit well with the Browns? Well, I'm still looking at that tight end spot, right? I put the two tight ends first. That made the most sense. So Ian Thomas, you know, not a big receiving threat, but what they are missing is just somebody that can do a little of both, right? Like, so if Njoku were to miss a couple snaps that you could put somebody in there that can go out and run a, you know, catch a pass and block. And they don't really have anybody dual threat guys that are really good blockers and can go out and catch the ball besides Njoku. Uh, that's what you had with Harrison Bryant, right? So uh, Irv Smith, would be very interesting. He's had a tough time staying healthy, but you like what he potentially could be. Now they signed him, but then they turned around and drafted Jared Wiley and they brought in this Baylor Cup kid as a uh, undrafted free agent in Cincinnati. So he may end up being the odd man out after they brought him in free agency. So that's a name to keep an eye on because Irv is an intriguing player, I think, a guy that can do both. Uh, the other name that I would mention that's not on there. Just looking ahead at the tackle situation is Cam Robinson. Uh, he was suspended, and it you know uh, nullified all the guarantees in his contract. So that makes him an intriguing cut candidate, a guy that who is actually a very dependable tackle. So if the Browns were looking to maybe bring in uh, you know a couple options looking beyond 2024 and get them in the building, he would be somebody that I'd be interested in.